Hello guys, Reginald Stinson here again. I'm actually on the way to Murfreesboro to meet another team member this morning. Uh, this is actually day number seven in eight because yesterday I didn't uh, stick to the challenge. I kind of had like a splurge day, quote unquote, because I didn't splurge this weekend, even though we're not supposed to do that. Uh, but I didn't really get to do anything yesterday, to be honest. Yesterday was extremely crazy, no excuse. Uh, we're gonna try not to let that happen again, but my day was crazy from start to finish. Got up late. Uh, stuff, you know, it, it just went totally backwards, long story short. But I still ended up um, getting two checks in the mail, which was great. So I made some money, made a few sales, so on and so forth. So uh, as far as that is concerned, I guess it all worked out. But anyway, this is day seven and eight of the 90 day challenge. I apologize for not shooting a video yesterday again, um, but we're going to do it today. Now, this morning, I am headed to Panera Bread. I didn't have time to mix my shape. Because again, I am uh, running late to my meeting. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, get a smoothie from Panera for breakfast. Which their smoothies are pretty healthy and they are very tasty. And also I have my pills in my pocket too. My nine pills or eight pills. However many it is I take uh, with the supplements and stuff like that. So um, we're doing that. Well, I'm doing that uh, for breakfast. I'm going to try to do a little workout later on if time permits uh, because my gym is not open yet the one down the street and the closest one I have to drive way too far to go to it so I'm waiting till the gym open but that's it on that folks um, as far as visible results um, I sim and myself uh, my wife sim uh, it, it looks like I'm slimming down pretty quickly um, and I'm starting to see muscles again, which is a good sign for me. Uh, so I'm very excited about this. Uh, but moving forward past that, the tip of the day is basically um, follow the system. Whatever that system is in, uh, in your network marketing company, affiliate marketing company, whatever you're promoting. And what really inspired me to talk about this is because actually before I shot this video, excuse me, I just got an email from somebody. Um, that was basically, I'm not going to be honest, they were really getting on my nerves because they were not coachable at all. And they emailed me 25 times a day like I just don't have anything else to do but to reply to emails. So, like I just don't have a life. No one else is contacting me. It's just them 25 emails a day about questions I've already answered before. Here's the thing, folks. And here's why this person has failed. And if he don't change... You know, this is this industry is not going to work out for him. Number one, when this guy first joined, he was in a desperate financial situation. And he said he was looking for a job, but he's going to try this. Here's the thing. I politely told this person, if your financial state is that bad, you need to still find a job, do what you got to do to provide for your family, and work this part-time. You know, that's what... A person with common sense would do. I would never, ever get into an industry like this. Which is it's sales. Let's be honest, it's sales, um, and it's something new. You're gonna go through learning curves. I mean, that's common sense. And expect it to be a get rich quick uh, type of thing, overnight success type of thing. And it's something new because this is based on you. This is not some set hourly wage that you're gonna get paid. Uh, so. I told him to do what he had to do to provide for his family and then from there come back to it. So he was like, well, I do music on the side, blah, 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 I got money, da, 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 da. Okay, so I'm like, cool. So here's the thing, folks, going back to my point. I told this person to follow the system. We already have websites that work, that convert. We have training that works and converts. Six-figure training that has made me several, well, tens of thousands of dollars training. And this person will not do it. He only been in the company a week. We will make it so bad. And he said, well, everything I want, it doesn't work. Um, everything I try to do, it costs me more money, blah, 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 blah. Excuse after excuse after excuse. This person wants custom pages, which is not even necessary. I mean, you're not even to that level yet. You barely know how to post an ad online. Why are you trying to get a custom capture page? These people do this. All right, and they want stuff custom, and they don't even understand marketing. They don't even understand uh, how to post ads. Oh, don't even know what their current website page is, 
let alone a custom one. So why would you do that? It's really simple, folks. You know, he's not coachable. He's trying to reinvent the wheel. And, and what's so sad about it is the system that's provided for him converts like gangbusters. You got people signing up 98 people a week with this system. Okay? And this is nothing custom. But yet and still, he wants to be custom. He wants to look like a guru. And he doesn't know what he's doing. All right? And I simply told this individual, and I want you to think about this. It's not about what you want. It's not necessarily about what you want all the time. Let me say all the time. It's about what works. So if you're new to this industry, all right, and you come into a company, a program, and they already have a system, it's not about what you want. It's not about what you think is right. It's not about what you think will work. Bottom line, it's about what works. And chances are, if you are aligning yourself with proper leadership, a good leadership and a good company, they already have a system in place that works. So why would you come in, especially being a new rep to the industry, especially, or someone that has never had any experience, real good success in this industry, and reinvent the wheel and try to create your own thing. So take your ego out the way. Give yourself time to get good. Don't quit in one week or in one month and follow the system. Again, it is not about what you want. It's about what works. This is Reginald Stinson. I'm about to listen to my personal development CD before I get to this store, but I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. God bless you.